Lecture 25 Leaders Make Strategies, Not Decisions Part 2 2. Case, Marriott Jr. Allow me to share a small case with you. After hearing this case, you will better understand why exceptional leaders only focus on a few strategies. There was a business leader named Mario Tricocci, who was the second CEO of Marriott International, the world's most famous hotel management group. Marriott International was founded by Mario Tricocci's father, J. Willard Marriott, who was the first CEO. Both father and son employed a management style known as management by walking around, which involves going to the front lines to gather information. One day, Mario Tricocci was practicing management by walking around and visited a hotel restaurant where he noticed that the service staff received low ratings from customers. He asked the hotel manager why the service staff received low ratings, and the manager was unsure. Mario Tricocci noticed that the manager seemed nervous and asked about the staff's salary. The manager provided a figure that was lower than the market rate. When Mario Tricocci asked why the salary was lower than the market rate, the manager replied that raising the salary required approval from headquarters, and he did not want to bother them. Mario Tricocci's conversation with the manager ended there. He said that through this conversation, he discovered three problems. If you were Mario Tricocci, what problems would you have discovered? Most people's mental models involve making decisions. If Mario Tricocci were an ordinary person, what would he think after discovering that the restaurant service staff received low ratings? He might think that the staff had a bad attitude and deserved to have their pay and bonuses deducted. He might think that the staff lacked skills and needed training. He might also think that the hotel manager was not managing well and should be replaced. Even if these decisions were effective, they would only solve the problem in one hotel, and they might not even be effective. Mario Tricocci was different from ordinary people. When faced with a problem, he thought of strategies instead of decisions. He thought about the problem behind the problem, not just the immediate problem. He did not want to solve one problem at a time, he wanted to solve a batch of problems at once. Now, let me tell you how Mario Tricocci solved a batch of problems at once. Mario Tricocci said that through this conversation, he discovered three problems. First, headquarters had too much power. The fact that raising the salary of restaurant staff required approval from headquarters showed that headquarters had too much power. By changing headquarters' power, Mario Tricocci was not just solving the problem in one restaurant but in all restaurants under headquarters' jurisdiction. After hearing this case, many people thought that the hotel manager was incompetent. Mario Tricocci did not think so. He said that he discovered the second problem the manager's superior was a poor listener. Mario Tricocci was not just thinking about the manager's problem but also the problem with the manager's superior. Why did Mario Tricocci say that the manager's superior was a poor listener? I can think of two reasons. The first reason is that the manager's superior is not good at listening. Why did it take Mario Tricocci to discover the problem in the restaurant? Why didn't the manager's superior discover it? This shows that the manager's superior is not good at listening. The second reason, which may be more important, is that the manager's superior is not only not good at listening but also unwilling to listen. Remember what the hotel manager said? I didn't want to bother them. If your superior is willing to listen, would you be afraid to speak up when there is a problem? The manager's response shows that his superior is someone who is unwilling to listen to subordinates. Earlier, I mentioned that many people believe there is an issue with the hotel manager. While this may be true, Mario Tricocci needs to address the problem at a higher level. If he were to replace the hotel manager, it would only affect that particular hotel. However, if he were to replace the manager's superior, it would impact all the hotels under their jurisdiction. Furthermore, Mario Tricocci understands that even if he were to replace the lower-level manager, it would not solve the problem if the superior is the root cause of the issue. 
Mario Tricocci also identified a third problem, a negative trend in our corporate culture where profit is prioritized over service. While we may have identified the direct cause of the low scores of the servers in the previous case study, which is their low wages resulting in low morale and poor service, Mario Tricocci did not stop there. He asked himself why their wages were low and concluded that it was to cut costs. He then asked himself why we needed to cut costs, and the answer was that our corporate culture had shifted to prioritize profit over service. He identified the root cause and went on to change Marriott's corporate culture, which would impact all the hotels and businesses under the Marriott brand. The case of Mario Tricocci is a near-perfect example of how a leader should strategize. He identified three problems in one hotel and distilled them into strategies that would impact all Marriott hotels and businesses. Therefore, a leader's task is not to make many decisions but to execute a few strategies well. You now understand the importance of strategizing, and you may be wondering how to do it. 3. How to make a strategy To craft a strategy, you must analyze the problem at a higher level. Management guru Peter Drucker once said that leaders must define reality on three levels. The first level is the level of events, which is what happened. The second level is the level of behavior patterns, which is whether the event exhibits a recurring behavior pattern. The third level is the level of system structure, which is whether the recurring behavior pattern is caused by the system structure. To learn how to craft a strategy, you must elevate your level of analysis. If you only analyze the problem at the level of events, then you are making a decision. If you can analyze the problem at the level of behavior patterns, then you can be said to be crafting a strategy. If you can analyze the problem at the level of system structure, then you are crafting a strategy at a higher level. When you recall the case of Little Mario Te, at least two of his three strategies were crafted at the level of system structure. For dot leadership mantra, why? You can also use a mantra to help you craft a strategy. This mantra consists of only three words, why? This is the eighth mantra of leadership practice. Previously, I used to dedicate a separate lecture to each leadership mantra. However, for the why mantra, I will not dedicate a separate lecture. In the deep thinking theme, I will discuss the different uses of why in four lectures. Today, I will discuss the first use. The first use of why is to find the root cause of a problem. In management, there is a saying of five whys, which means that when facing a problem, you need to ask why five times in a row to discover the root cause. If you draw a conclusion after asking the first why, then you are often making a decision. If you arrive at a solution after asking the fifth why, then you are likely crafting a strategy. When you recall the case of little Mario Te, he directly asked the manager two whys, but silently asked himself several more whys in his mind.